no bleep, is that a devil are you? You hear those birds? Oh wow, that is cool. Okay, then, so today we're going to have a look at the uh, Rutus Alter 71. We're going to go for some coin shooting today in coin mode. Again, there's no sponsorship involved, there's no money involved in this video at all whatsoever. So everything you see here is completely legitimate and all of the finds are completely legitimate as, as in with every single one of my videos. Just a pure insight from one bloke off of the street to another person off of the street, uh, trying to give you an insight as to whether the machine is any good or not. Summer is very close, my friends, and because of that, um, most of my fields, actually nearly all of my fields now, I've got crop on, very beautiful to see, but unfortunately it's not very good when you're metal detecting. So I've come to a very small piece of pasture where I've done loads of tests, it's well worked, I've used other machines on it, so if the Rutus gets anything out of this today, it's not very fair. I'm, gonna, I'm only here for an hour and a half. If she gets anything out of it today, I'm gonna be really, really impressed. Just then, um, keep that in mind when you hit the end of the video. Okay, and on that note, let's crack on and see how she does. Okay, then the first target of day is an old 50p, spendable still. Really nice, tight, strong signal. Came up around about 73, I think, and sat that nice straight line between the, um, uh, between silver and gold. So I knew that that was gonna be something nice, and it was, 50p, sir, thank you. All right, this is an interesting one. Doesn't feel as strong and potent as I'd like. So, let's my spade out of the way. So we've got, it's not a, that's a bit of both, isn't it? So we're looking at the top 100s there, uh, and we've got the line coming up in silver-ish. It's a bit sporadic, a bit broken, not very consistent. So I'm going to dig it, obviously, because it's a, it's a pretty good target. Let's get in there and have a look, shall we? And yeah, that was pretty deep. And whatever it is, is in this wonderful clod of yumminess right here. Uh, can we see anything obvious? No, we cannot. Right, let's break that in half then. Nope. Let's break you. Nope. Right, it's now in this even smaller clod. <laughs> it's like Christmas. A very muddy crisp. Oh, hold on. Do you know what? I think it's a coin or a button. Can you see it there on its edge? So it wasn't silver. I wonder why it's so sporadic. Maybe it's because it was on its side. Okay, I'm still learning. I'm still learning. Hello. I shall release you from your earthly shackles, sir. Oh, dude, it's a teeny little coin of somethingness. Oh, man. Right, let me uh, give this a quick clean up. Small, for that depth. Did you see the depth? Hey, that's impressive. All right, clean up. Well, I've got no idea what it is, but it's silver. Very, very thin. So you can see the silver edges here. Gonna need to give that one a good clean up when I get home, I think. But yeah, it's really impressive. That's a really good start. I'm really happy. Good, good, good. Okay, I've got another nice signal here up between the uh, silver and gold zone, as you can see the line. 96.94. Hey, this could be exciting, you know. Here's a DP, you can't really ever tell on, on the camera. We've got ourselves another coin. And this to me looks already like an old penny. Uh, oh, I don't know actually. Okay, let me just quickly clean it up. That one knackered me, Dad. This is grasses, or well, the ground even. It's really, really dry. One second. Oh, no way. Oh, that's a shame. It's definitely got markings around the side there. This side that hasn't fared as better as well. I've got no idea though. It could be an old shilling or something, I guess. It looks silvery on the edges. Any ideas? Oh, come on. But anyway, look, my function today is to see if this machine's any good at finding coins, and so far, so good. That's at some nice depth. Okay, about 10 foot away from that target. Coming in another 106, in that silver line there. Lovely strong signal. This one's pretty much near the top, you can see it right there. I think it's a modern penny. 
Uh, so we're looking at one or two inches there, I think. Um, it, I think it is, I'm pretty sure it's a modern penny, but, but that's kind of crazy that you can have a coin from, God, I don't know where that other coin come from. Yeah, it's a penny. I mean, you can walk like 10 foot. There you go. <laughs> oh, look at that though. <laughs> that's, it's got a really nice kind of like gold sheen to it. That's kind of awesome. All right, really good target here. I found just a second ago. But I thought I'd dig it with you guys. Give you an idea. It's going down. All right, let's get in there, shall we? Yeah, it's a really strong target. Um, in the 800s, 100s, I think, 80 to 100 anyway. Oh, hello, I've got it. Oh, okay, hold on. This is a, it's a round circular piece of metal. I think it's a spindle whirl. I think it's a spindle whirl, guys. It is a spindle whirl, it's an old lead spindle whirl. <laughs> cool. Can you see it? It's grass is right, isn't it? There you go, look. Let's just touch it. There you go. No, I don't think you can. But it's an old, it's an old lead spindle whirl. No markings on this one. Some, sometimes uh, the Romans especially like to decorate these. Always interesting things to find and a good indication of the history that surrounds us. <laughs> Come out of the clod and I booted the clod to turn it over and it disappeared. But what had happened was is I booted the coin miles away. Well, not miles away, obviously. Um, some distance. It's very, very dry as well. So uh, everything's beginning to really dry up around here. This, this particular bit, I mean, anyway. So we've got ourselves another coin. Fantastic. No idea what it is. Looks like it could be a potentially a farthing. Not sure. One second, quick clean up. Oh, yes, indeed. And we can see Britannia. Good day, you, Bob. On the front there. Just about in all, all of our gloriosity. Not too sure what's going on the other side, but it ain't pretty. Um, I'm gonna say probably no farthing. The date's there. Don't know if you guys can see anything. Probably could until I just did that. I do apologize. Oh well, yet another coin. Okay, no, a good seven, eight inches there. It's coming at about 63, I think. Good old watch winder. Teeny signal. <laughs> no. Oh man, it was really strong. It was, look at the depth. Look at that teeny little watch winder. Oh man, that is so cool. Oh, you're impressing me so far. Yeah, nice. Nice. The line's just underneath the gold there. Move it around. Like a wiggly worm. 73, 74. What's your prediction then, bleepers? I predict it's something round and metal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, I was getting too confident. That's, that's what's happened there. I've got way too confident. <laughs> God, coin mode is so corny. It's about 97, 98. Uh, pound coin, the old style pound coins. Again, at some good inches there. I don't know, what's that? Seven or eight inches. And again, just so, so potent. Yeah, nice. Look at this. Right, this is my um, strap paracord, right? So this is paracord. There's tons of it there. Just in case the apocalypse happens and I need to make a fire or save someone. Right, and it's got a compass on there as well, just in case I get lost. And it's got a striking mechanism to make fire with there as well. Look what I just found. <laughs> It's another one! That is so cool! This is all the power cord. Obviously the compass there, which has uh, seen better days, but it's still comps. And um, it just doesn't have the striking mechanism, but it's still got the, uh, that's totally usable. I'm keeping that. <laughs> Brilliant. But it's kind of good. They don't quite point to the same direction, which could be problematic when the apocalypse comes, but still loads of power cord, which I'm happy about. Anyway, uh, sorry, good signal. <laughs> 
in between the gold silver. Looking 98, 97. I'm gonna buy it. Right, it is in the clump. Let's do a livey on this. Bash the top just in case it's not on the top. No, it's underneath the grass. All right, this is gonna be a, why did I sign myself up for this deal? Doing a one-handed livey fall. Ah, you weren't gonna be that easy, were you? Have you fallen out yet, sir? Oh, you have? Fantastic. All right then, so it is here. Leapers, use the power of your eyes. Can you? That's a bit of sheep poo. Oh my God, it's nothing good. It's just a bit of square, bit of nothingness. But it's good that anything artifact wise is gonna come up strongly within coin mode as well. That's nice to know. Right, I've got a good target here. You find me am <laughs> amongst the grass, sorry. It's not very professional. There you go. Okay, um, let's try and find this. Uh, need to get back in the old pointer zone again, guys. Seem to have misplaced yet another one. Not good going, is it? Luckily, they're cheap. Right, okay. Oh, sweet. It's in my hand. Okay, what are you? It was a good signal. Oh, I think it's a bit of lead. Every time I do this, oh, is it? It's a bit of lead with something coming off of it. It's like an elephant, an elephant-y piece of lead. Every time I put the camera down at this angle, it's never good, is it? It's never a good target. Um, but anyway, at least you know it's honest. What is that? This piece of lead, this piece of lead is so well made. I'm just trying to figure out. I can see so many markings on it. I just can't figure out what it is. Can you see what I mean? It's obviously something. This weird bit hanging down here. Hey, I know what that is. I think. That, the top here, doesn't that look like a torso? I think that's an old lead soldier, but what's this bit? Dude, your leg is weird. You need to sort that out, old chap. What's this? I don't even want to think what that is coming out the side of his. This is this is the creepiest lead soldier I've ever found. That's definitely a torso though, isn't it? He's just headless. Which makes it even more creepier. Headless with a weird butt and two very, very strange legs. Yes! Another coin, don't you know? Here we go. Oh. Here we go. And it looks like to me to be a coin of nothingness. But again, it's still a coin, isn't it? Okay. What is that? Five inches, four inches. Nice pinger again. La di da. Yeah, nothing there. I thought it's probably a old Georgie of some sort, I think. Um, but again, it's just just getting across the point of the um, capabilities with coins. Very, very able. Again, down at some depth, coming at around about 93, I think. These predate modern bullets. Lead bullet. God, that's impressive, you know. I think I'm just gonna stick with coin mode for everything now. Picking up these artifacts quite happily as well. Look at that, that's a lovely bit of history that is, isn't it? Look at that. Really, really cool. No, <laughs> I was convinced that I was a little hammered. <laughs> Might as well have been, though, eh? No, it's a little silver button, that one. Uh, it's a lovely little one, though, isn't it? Look at that. Let me do a quick clean up on that. Oh, it's a shame, the silver come away that there's this lovely little flower pattern in the middle there can you see that small target uh, down at about i don't know three or four inches it, it was really really strong that's cool oh guess what yep you got it <laughs> it's another coin another modern coin another 10 pence piece 
there. Um, this pasture at some point was a used as a car park for a local event. So that's why I'm kind of seeing these modern coins come up, I think. We have more coinage. Surprise, surprise. A ping in a 92, 93, stupidly strong, coming up in between silver gold, straight line. And I think it's probably another Georgie. But it looks the thing, so this one might have, again, I think it's another coin of nothingness, unfortunately. Okay, I'm gonna clean it up. Yeah, it's pretty dead, but I think so. Judging by the size of the writing there, it's a really old coin. Yeah, I'm definitely, I think I could just make out a head there as well. Probably 16, 17, 1800s, well, 17, 1800s. With one of the Georges. It might come up in clean up, you know, doing a, more of a thorough clean up. I could definitely make out letter in there, you see that? Cool, very, very cool. Hey, this is good, this is really good. Um, there's the plug, I just had that coin. Just putting it back in, I was just double checking my signal um, to make sure there's nothing there. There's the, where it was and next to it. Big bit of iron, or a bit of iron. Alerted me to the coin first. Nice recovery. Okay, we're going for something slightly different here. We're going between 60 and 90. Not a great signal. It's quite movable actually. Where are you? Just trying to figure out size. Yeah, it could be a coin, you know. I'm definitely going to dig it either way, aren't I? Yeah, very much looking like a button to me. Click in. Ooh! It's a button with some gold gilding on it. You see that? Oh man. Shame, isn't it? God, and the other side's just doomed. Doomed! And I cannot find this for love nor money. Such a potent signal. <laughs> Still central, coming in at about uh, 93. Oh, where are you? Just to give you an idea of depth in a second. I'm sure I never used to grunt this much when I was digging. Surely a sign of old age. Or in consonants. As you can see, this is rather a deep hole. I'm down to me elbow. Hmm. What's to do? What's to do? This is a time when you need a little pointer, my friends. So you don't get into this sort of trouble. Yeah, you can see why she thought it was a coin, right? Check out this beauty. <laughs> oh man. I don't think, I'm excited. Your period's like, oh, yeah, all right, okay. Why are you so excited? Because typically you just find the shell or the bullet. You never find the whole thing in one like this. Well, I found loads like, but over in, when I was over in Eastern Europe. Um, but in this country, I think this might be my first. That is a beauty, isn't it? Wow, I wonder if I can get what I can get from the bottom. Right, okay, there's anybody that knows about these things. We have K458.5. Again, K458.5. What does that mean, my friends? That's a peach! And we have another coin. 20 pence piece, modern. Nice, good, strong target again. Hoorah! There you go. And a little 5p piece. <laughs> They're coming around about 50, 40, 50, so slightly different. So they have this uh, steel core, don't they? And coal. 
What is that? Anco. No idea. Actually, it looks like it goes around a... It's threaded in. So it could go around a necklace or something. Do you reckon that's screws? Let's see what happens if we try and unscrew that. <laughs> Guys, there's paper inside it. Let's have a look what's inside this. Maybe it's a treasure map. Hoorah! Um, I'm not going to be able to... It's kind of damp. It feels kind of damp. There we go. Oh, it's got some dude's name and address on it. Ah, I'm not going to show that, unfortunately. Let me just have a quick investigation. Yeah, okay, so it's got somebody's name, address and phone number on it. Um, but I don't know why. Would this... Okay, okay, okay. Maybe this is a dog's thing. And it goes around a dog's collar. And if the dog is lost, then you ring the phone number and address there. I reckon that's what it is. I think that's what it is anyway. Unless it's for the dude's wife or something. Ah, and alas, yes. There's another indistinguishable coin of nothingness. Hmm. Yeah, completely add it. It's the soil content, all the fertilizers. I think it's the soil content. If you go up north a little bit, these coins tend to come up quite well. But down here, it just eats them alive, which is a real shame. Real shame. There you go, about an hour and 45 minutes. I think that pretty much speaks for itself. Um, coin mode is an absolute success on the Rutus Ultra 71. I really, really enjoyed that, actually. I want to get back out here again. There's that many coins just still lying about, and where else is there going to be beneath the coil? Anyway, thank you for watching, my friends. I'll see you in the next video.